Jaguars are the only big cat in the Americas and the third biggest in the world after tigers and lions. They look a lot like leopards, which live in Africa and Asia, but jaguar spots are more complex and often have a dot in the center. These powerful cats were worshipped as gods in many ancient Southern American cultures, and representations of the jaguar show up in the art and archaeology of pre-Columbian cultures across the jaguar's range. The word jaguar comes from the indigenous word jaguar, which means the killer which overcomes its prey in a single bound. The jaguar is a compact and well-muscled animal. Rainforest jaguars are generally darker and considerably smaller than those found in open areas, possibly due to the fewer large herbivorous prey in forest areas. Jaguars grow to about 1.6 to 1.8 meters or 5.3 to 6 feet in length and stand about 67 to 76 centimeters or 27 to 30 inches tall at the shoulders. On average, jaguars weigh around 36 kilograms or 80 pounds, but larger specimens have been recorded as weighing 131 to 151 kilograms or 288 to 333 pounds. Historically, these cats ranged from virtually the entire South American continent all the way to the southern half of the United States. Fossilized remains of jaguars have been found in Missouri, dating back to the Ice Age. As recent as the early 20th century, jaguars could be found as far north as the Grand Canyon and as far west as Monterey, California. Currently, jaguars have been restricted to a fraction of their previous range. Jaguar populations in the United States are now virtually non-existent. With only a few sightings in the past decade or so, their current range stretches from Mexico to South America, but that range is highly fragmented. This means jaguar populations have large spaces between them where no jaguars are found. This fragmented habitat prevents jaguar populations from breeding with one another and reduces genetic diversity. Jaguars can be found most frequently in dense, flooded rainforests. This could be due to preference and shy nature, or it could be because dry habitats have been rapidly developed in their range. While they are more commonly found near water sources and rainforests, jaguars have been spotted in and have historically inhabited grasslands, subtropical forests, and deciduous forests. The majority of a jaguar's hunting is done down on the ground, but they are known to hunt for prey both in water and from the trees, from where the jaguar can easily ambush its prey, often killing it with one powerful bite. Jaguars have a more powerful bite than any other cat on the planet, and the second most powerful bite of all mammals. Their jaws are powerful enough to deliver a deadly bite that punctures the skull and brain, which is exactly how jaguars kill. They may not be the biggest, strongest, or deadliest killer in the Phalid family, but when it comes to biting, jaguars take the cake. Medium-sized mammals make up the majority of the jaguar's diet, including deer, capybara, peccaries, and tapers, which they stalk in silence through the dense jungle. When in water, jaguars hunt turtles, fish, and even small caiman when the opportunity presents itself. The jaguar is known to be a formidable and aggressive hunter and is thought to eat more than 80 different animal species to supplement its diet. With growing human settlements, the jaguar has also been blamed by ranch owners for stealing their livestock particularly in areas that encroach on the jaguar's territory. Although this elusive animal spends most of their time either resting in the safety of the trees or hunting in the dense undergrowth, jaguars are animals who love to be nearby of water, such as floodplains and slow-moving rivers, and they rarely venture into arid, more desert-like areas. The jaguar is an excellent swimmer, and can move through water at a surprising speed, particularly when in pursuit of prey. While the jaguar employs the deep throat bite and suffocation technique typical among panthera, it prefers a killing method unique amongst cats, 
It pierces directly through the temporal bones of the skull, between the ears of prey with its canine teeth, piercing the brain. This may be an adaptation to cracking open turtle shells. The jaguar is a stalk and ambush rather than a chase predator. The cat will walk slowly down forest paths, listening for and stalking prey before rushing or ambushing. The jaguar attacks from cover and usually a target's blind spot with a quick pounce. The species' ambushing abilities are considered nearly peerless in the animal kingdom by both indigenous people and field researchers and are probably a product of its role as an apex predator in several different environments. Jaguar populations are rapidly declining. The species is listed as near-threatened on the IUCN Red List. The loss of parts of its range, including its virtual elimination from its historic northern areas, and the increasing fragmentation of the remaining range have contributed to this status. Particularly significant declines occurred in the 1960s, when more than 15,000 jaguars were killed for their skins in the Brazilian Amazon yearly. The major risks of the jaguar include deforestation across its habitat, increasing competition for food with human beings, especially in dry and unproductive habitats, hurricanes in northern parts of its range, and the behavior of ranchers who will often kill the cat where it preys on livestock. When adapted to the prey, the jaguar has been shown to take cattle as a large portion of its diet. While land clearance for grazing is a problem for the species, the jaguar population may have increased when the cattle were first introduced to South America. As the animals took advantage of the new prey base, this willingness to take livestock has induced ranch owners to hire full-time jaguar hunters. As you can see, jaguars are extremely strong cats and have amazing qualities. But can they cope in India? The Indian landmass is home to a large variety of flora and fauna. India has an amazingly wide variety of wildlife animals and birds that live in the diverse terrain of the country. From ferocious royal Bengal tigers to Asiatic elephants, India houses this huge variety of animals in its 89 national parks, 18 bioreserves, and more than 400 wildlife sanctuaries. There are already leopards in the Gir National Park, so probably jaguars could survive too. But the jaguar is adapted for a very different style of environment, and their specialization in strength may be a disadvantage in Gir Park. Sometimes it's better to be more general, Jaguars would probably struggle. They are used to being the apex predators and don't really have to fear anything but humans in their home territory. So they don't bother hiding their presence and they may get harassed by lions every time they kill something. They would probably compete directly with the leopard. In one-on-one -on -one confrontation, they would win that fight, but they wouldn't have adapted to that environment yet. They may never adapt to that environment, which could ultimately lead to the extinction of both the local leopard and the introduced jaguars. That would have a massive effect on the local ecosystem. The other predators probably wouldn't be able to fill the gap effectively, and some animal populations would increase, which may strip some species of fauna and cause a cascade failure. In India, the leopard is found in all forest types from tropical rainforest to temperate deciduous and alpine coniferous forests. This is where the jaguar would thrive. It's wet and humid, just like home. It can make a pretty good living off of the deer and small monkeys inhabiting the forests. Doles wouldn't be much of a threat unless they were in large packs. The main danger they should learn to avoid is tigers. They are bigger, stronger, and will not hesitate to kill jaguars if they consider them a threat. Crocodiles are another significant threat that could be encountered in this area. Jaguars should be very careful when deciding to enter the water in search of food. Now that you've heard our opinion, we want to know yours. Do you think jaguars could survive in India? We are waiting for your answers in the comments. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos.
Thanks for watching. See you next time.